Hello and welcome back. Before I begin, I'd like to give a big thank you to Cooperific, Yann and Pilkey, and Literature Loon for becoming my latest subscribers. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. And I also just want to apologize for having really been out of the video loop for a while. Um, I unfortunately caught this really lousy cold that just, you know, went straight to my throat, head, nose, and I knew if I tried to do a video it would not be pretty. And it may still not be pretty, but um, I'm going to have a little suspense here to see if I can make it through without really um, making a fool of myself. But anyway, this is my usual end of the month book haul from the Book Thing of Baltimore, a wonderful nonprofit that gives out free books on the weekend and also takes any unwanted books you might have. And now on with the haul. First up, I got Norwegian Wood, a novel by the acclaimed Japanese writer Haruki Murakami. And uh, he's not to be confused with Ryu Murakami, who writes in rather a different and more gruesome vein. Um, felt a little bad getting this because I already have the Wind Up Bird Chronicle, which I have not read, but it's such a cool cover and it was there and what the heck. And I, I do love this little quotation, this testimonial on the front um, from the New York Times Book Review that says, Norwegian wood bears the unmistakable marks of Murakami's hand. And it's like, well, I hope it would because he wrote it. And then I got this novel, The Street, a classic novel of slum life by Anne Petrie. And I felt a little weird getting this, but I got Battle Hymn of the Tiger Mother by Amy Chua. Um, you may have read about this, it was kind of a succès de scandal a little while ago. Um, I don't know, to me it just sounded like such great reading. I mean, she, um, her young daughter makes her a card and she tells her that it's really just not good enough and that kind of thing. And I don't know, it sounded kind of great to me. And I feel like she was kind of raked across the coals a little, um, a little bit harshly, but I guess it sold her books, so good for her. And then I got this novel, Seven Moves, by Carol Anshaw. I have not read her earlier novel, Aquamarine, but I have it sitting around. It's supposed to be really good, so I figured I would pick this one up too, just in case. And I got Memory of Fire, Genesis, by Eduardo Galeano. This looks like a very kind of experimental take on Latin American history. It looks kind of interesting. It, it's a novel. And I got The Night of the Giraffe and Other Stories by Alfred Anders, supposed to be a really good, um, fairly contemporary German writer. And Temple Slave, a novel by Robert Patrick. Oh, I was so excited to find this. This is Man Gone Down, a novel by Michael Thomas. Um, I just heard a lot about this when it first came out. It sounded really good, and I'm very eager to read it. And, oh, another really exciting find, 1974 by David Peace. This is part of the Red Riding Trilogy, which I think, I mean, it got a fair amount of attention as books, but they also filmed it for, I believe, British television, although they might have been feature films. And then those were released over here and um, got a lot of play as well. I think this is the first one. I think the second one is 1976, and the last one is 1980. But really excited to give this a try. And then I got The Dogs of War by Frederick Forsythe. I'm just interested in reading this because I just saw the film pretty recently and rather liked it. This is um, kind of an, um, it's not really espionage, it's more foreign intrigue, mercenary thriller. And then I got this novel, We Are Now Beginning Our Descent by James Meek. I just really love the title and the story sounded pretty interesting. Ah, I gotta love this one. How Men Feel. This is their response to women's demand for equality and power, written by Anthony Astrakhan. Um, written, actually I'm not sure when this was written. I was thinking, oh, wow, 1986. I was thinking it's a little earlier than that, but um, sounds pretty interesting. I mean, don't we all want to know how men feel? And then I got The Rainbow Stories by William T. Volman. I read one of these excerpted somewhere or another and thought it was pretty good. 
Uh, Volman has this kind of bad boy reputation, and lately he's taken to writing these non-fiction, sort of very involved, um, almost anthropological things, but I figured I would just give this a try on the strength of the one I read. And I got another Kingsley Amos novel, Stanley and the Women, which um, you may have recall, recall my talking about Kingsley Amos and how I kind of come back to him through reading his novel Girl 20, even though I really did not like Lucky Jim at the time I read it then. But now I'm sort of collecting his stuff. And then I got Star Tide Rising, a novel by David Brin. I'm not really sure about this. I believe the premise is that dolphins are these super evolved beings that are somehow going to help us improve the world or take us to a better world or something. It's obviously a science fiction novel. Um, I don't know. It sounds like it could be kind of cheesy, but it could also be really cool. So give it a try. And then I got The Trial of the Catonsville Nine by Daniel Berrigan, who was one of the Catonsville Nine who were arrested for um, vandalizing a draft office in Maryland, hence Catonsville. And then I got Upstream, a memoir by Lewis Lewison, or is it Lewis Lewison or Ludwig? Ludwig Lewison, sorry about that, um, in a cool little modern library edition, although a little bit shabby. And then I got Lives of the Poets, a novel by E.L. Doctorow. Um, I don't know about this. I read his novel, The Book of Daniel, which I rather liked. Um, although I, I had mixed feelings about it, but overall I liked it, and there were parts I thought were really impressive. Um, also a pretty good film called Simply Daniel, which is starring um, Timothy Hutton. Um, and this one looked kind of interesting. I figured I might as well give it a try. I'm not really all that interested in his um, historical novels like Ragtime, Billy Batgate, but... I figured give it a try. And then I got this French book, uh, Mort en Fraud by Jean Ougrand. I'm not really sure what this is, but um, when I pick up, when I, whenever I see these Livre de Poche um, books, I tend to just pick them up and then take a look at them later and see if it's something I want to keep, because they tend to publish pretty interesting things. And then I got Maria Chapeldaine by Louis Aimant. This is a I believe it's a novel, or it might be a collection of stories, but I think it's a novel about um, life in French Canada at the, I think during the pioneer period, but I'm not sure. And then I got Coutume et Paysage Russe by E. Picard, or E. Uh, Picard, I guess, which is cool. It's this uh, piece of travel writing, sociology. And L'Hiver de Force by Région du Charme. This is another one. I just don't know what it is, but Folio is another really good um, French publisher. So I figure I'll pick it up and see if it's something I'm interested in. And then this was kind of cool. A couple of um, cinema history French books. This is by Freddy Buache, or Buache, uh, Le Cinéma Français des années. Um, and uh, Philippe Pilar, Le, Le Nouveau Cinéma Britannique. And I got Les Jeux Sauvages by Paul Collin. Um, I have no idea what this is, but it's called Savage Games. I mean, it's pretty interesting, right? And But Do Blondes Prefer Gentlemen, a uh, collection of Anthony Burgess's nonfiction writing. The Adventures of Alex by Joanna Russ. I've heard a lot about this series, um, that science fiction with, I think, uh, feminist bent, and I'm just eager to try it. And this is Fanny Farmer's Book of Good Dinners. Fanny Farmer is a classic um, cookbook author, and I'm curious about this. I'm not sure how much vegetarian stuff will be in there, but I mean, she has to have recipes for vegetables and that kind of thing, right? And let's see. Then I got Breaking Through, a novel by Andre Vandenbroek. Um, this appears to be a novel kind of about alchemy and um, just 
uh, hermeneutics and that kind of thing. It just seems really interesting. I've been reading um, John Crowley's Egypt Cycle, and that deals a lot with similar themes, so I've gotten kind of interested in that. And this is uh, Books and Bookmen by Andrew Lang. Andrew Lang is a guy I'm quite fond of. He put together the entire fairy book series, um, the Blue Fairy Book, the Red Fairy Book, the Yellow Fairy Book, etc., um, which were fairy tale collections that I really loved as a kid. He was a Victorian um, anthologist of fairy tales and critic and translator, lots of things, and uh, just interested to have this piece of criticism from him. And let's see. Crazy October by James Leo Hurley. Uh, Hurley is the author of both Midnight Cowboy and All Fall Down, both of which are made into really good films. I read Midnight Cowboy and honestly I didn't think it was that great a novel, although I thought I liked it because it was a lot grimmer than the film, but overall I thought actually the film was a good bit better. But curious to try something else of his. And a memoir of romantic education by Patricia Happel. Really excited to find this. This is The Shrapnel Academy by Faye Weldon, who's one of my favorite contemporary authors. Um, Life and Loves of a She-Devil is an absolute must read, although it's really grueling and kind of depressing. It's supposed to be funny, but I actually thought it was really, really sad. But um, love her. Really excited to find this one. And I got this novel, Cubicles, by Kamika Spencer. And another Faye Weldon, The Cloning of Joanna May. And I got Richistan, A Journey Through the American Wealth Boom and the Lives of the New Rich by Robert Frank. I suspect this was written before the big meltdown in 2008, but I'm not sure. And let's see. So Fair a House, The Story of Sinan On by Daniel Castriel, M.D. And When a Crocodile Eats the Sun by Peter Godwin. This, I believe, is a memoir of his growing up in Zimbabwe, although it might just be a journalistic account. Um, Zim I've become really interested in Zimbabwe in recent years, especially with that big contested um, election they had a few years ago. And The Secrets of Houdini by J.C. Cannell. And I got The Egg and I, a classic memoir by Betty MacDonald about her moving to a farm. And oh, I was really excited to find this. This is Le Capitaine Fracas by Théophile Gautier. Um, I've read his Contes Fantastiques or Fantastic Tales a while ago and really liked those, so I'm eager to read more of him. And I got a novel, The Boy Who Picked the Bullets Up by Charles Nelson. Well, there we go. Told you this might not be pretty. Oh, and last but not least, I was so excited to find this. This is Third Man Out by Richard Stevenson. You may remember I was um, really excited to find his book Ice Blues a while ago because I just really wanted to read um, something in the Donald Strachey series. But I'm really excited because this is um, the one I saw the film version of. And it has a cover with Chad Allen on it who plays um, Donald Strachey in the um, films which I'm not going to complain about. And if you've made it this far, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll join me for my next video.